Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back in Slaughterhouse Sports. Kurt Magoosh, Tovita Pomes. Tovita Pomes, and he's from Layton, Utah, which is about a half hour outside of Salt Lake City up there near the Ogden area. And you're getting a 6'3", 350-pound nose guard headed to play up with Ben Roberts, another Salt Lake City kid, with Tony T, Tony Toyote, and, uh, and Tony T. Tony T's out here recruiting in the state of Utah. Um, other than, other than uh, Gonza, other than uh, Meet Martin's kid, Demetrius Martin's kid's a four-star kid committed uh, in twenty-three. This is another commit for the Oregon Ducks, maybe the second commit uh, in Oregon in 23, and they get Tovita Pomes. So this is, this is going to be the first recruiting class um, really under Coach Landing where he has a full year to go out and get the guys. And what do you look for in a nose guard? Uh, you look for a guy that that has explosiveness off of the football. You look with a guy with res, red, requisite size and a little bit of wiggle, and he's going to get double teamed a lot, but he's able to sliver through, and he has explosiveness. He plays rugby, and he can be. You're looking for an explosive athlete inside. And even though the biggest guys, like they might not be, the, they might not move, they might not be able to run like extremely, extremely fast. You got to look for wiggle. You got to look for explosiveness off of the football, and you got to look for a guy that's going to grind in the trenches, take up bodies, and finish plays, and and. And that's what exactly he's going to do because when you're playing 3-4, you're going to have to have linebackers coming over the top with simulated pressure. Simulated pressure is a word that that Oregon uh, people are always using with Dan Lanning. But you got to have linebackers coming over the top. So it is really up to uh, Pomez here. Uh, to, to, it's up to Tevi Pomez. Uh, to take on bodies and Tevi's going to have to get in the way all right and let the linebackers like Devin Jackson let the linebackers of course like if Taggart makes it as a linebacker whoever you're going to be recruiting as a linebacker at Georgia it was Nicobe Dean it was it was Walker it was all those guys um you know, you got to have your linebackers have the ability to get to the second level, so you have to take up bodies. But look at him shed. He's really good at shedding, all right? And you got to be an effective nose guard. And here you're going to see him. You're going to see a little bit of pancake factory here, all right? You see some nasty, which is what you got to have. Uh, you you got to see violence. You got to see nasty. Dan Lanning, Tony Toyoti, and, and Tosh, they're, they're going to want violence, all right? And, and here you're going to see him hit the quarterback. You're going to see him sliver through the line. Let's see him right here. He really can move. He's an agile guy. Um, there you see him sliver through there as well. Um, a lot of these are poor blocks. Like I want to see a little more side to side out of out of a Pomes. All right, but Pomes can hustle. You see a little bit of you see some motor there. And, and again, like he's only going to get better and better. All right, so so here Pomes even looks like he's slimmed down a little bit. Like he looks really explosive in this play. Right, he's able to go to the edge. He's able to finish. So you got to have a guy that again can stuff the run, get back to the passer if needed. All right, there you like it. There you like it. Under center, let's see the get off there. Get off is strong, and he can and he can finish. Okay, he's going to be a big boy. He's going to take up bodies. That's what that's what Vita Pomez is going to do. All right, there he hustles. There he collapses. There he makes the play. Here he's on the island. Okay, again three four style stuffs the run. Great patience. Great timing. You got to have timing when you're dealing with fast running backs. Here he sees the back, and he really can can get to the back and collapse and make a play. Play. All right. Even as a uh, as a guard, he'll stuff you. He'll stuff you. He's a stuffer, and he's he's a, he's a good person to get in your program. He's a good guy. You want to have really good D linemen. You want to have big big guys. You want to have big guys. You look at the Pacific Northwest. It's big guys that can stuff the run. All right. You want to have. Big, big guys. Even Bama, the SEC, they have big guys up front as nose tackles. And Tavita is going to be in the next line of nose tackles. And there you can see him, though. Like, this kid is not just going to stand still. He can get up to the second level. He can move people and he can finish. 
That's what I love to see. A finish. All right. Vita's going to come. He's going to hit you. He's going to play nasty. And, you know, just a lot of times with big guys, they're usually some of the nicest guys on the team because they got to do the dirty work. It's oftentimes thankless work in the trenches. It's not quarterback, wide receiver, running back where you're getting all the accolades. So a lot of times these are the nicest guys. These are the fabrics of your team, your nose guards, your offensive guards. And these guys got to hustle. These guys got to set the tone in the locker room and be leaders. And Tony Toyoti, um, Tony T is bringing in the defensive linemen. And he's been one of the best recruiters on Oregon staff so far uh, coming from Nebraska recently. So um, this is an exciting commit for Oregon to get this party started in in the uh, 2023 class. Um, they get a guy this week, um, and you get Palmez, you go, you go to Utah, you're setting a good footprint in Utah. So many good players come from the state of Utah and, uh, and Tavita is one of these guys that I think is going to be a really effective player for the ducks. That's going to get in again with the big guys. They usually wait like maybe a year or two to really come in and produce against the run. But you're going to get him in the strength and conditioning program. You're going to get him with Willie Love and Wilson Love, and it, it's it's going to be it's going to be a fun fun time for Tavita. And Oregon's a wonderful place, and I want to congratulate Tavita and welcome him to Eugene, Oregon. So big things coming for Tavita Pomes from Layton, Utah, a commit in the 23 class to the Oregon Ducks.